Hey guys, welcome back to Real Talk Bougie. Welcome to my channel. It's Friday. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit late. I was trying to find, so I heard this morning Portia and Simon filed for divorce, and I was trying to find the divorce file. And you know, Fulton County's down, so I was trying to check all my spots where I can usually download documents. So I was reading some of the stories. I had a conditioner treatment in my hair. My hair is so tangled. We're not even going to talk about it, but it is like, I'm going to need to trim my hair after this because it's very much giving very much tangled to the point where I just like took half a bottle of oil and, um, one of Farah's bottles of uh, moisturizing uh, conditioner and put it right into my head and put another shower cap on. I was like, I'm going to have to revisit this later because I'm going to have to get this stuff up out of my head uh, because it's that tangled. So um, I made the mistake of washing it before I really... Normally, it's not this tangled, but it was like legit tangled. Anyway, whatever. Um, but I'm trying to find Portia and Simon's divorce filing, so maybe it's not. I don't know. They said a couple of articles I've read, people are referencing having read it, or that, you know, according to the divorce document, blah, 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 blase, blase, and I can't seem to find it. So maybe it'll post up tonight somewhere, but I'm looking and searching so we can talk about it. Also, I know we need, so we got some hot topics to talk about. Um, let me make my list. Um, we definitely have to talk about Wendy. We're going to talk about Wendy. We're going to talk about Borgia. We're going to talk about Fani. They said Fani and Nathan have been texting a lot. They said Nathan been over to Fonny's apartment a lot. Okay. Uh, Simon was, Simon has a background. I, get, I don't know. You know, Wendy got dementia. I mean, we knew something was wrong with, with Wendy. Wendy can be just fine if they, if she's well treated, well taken care of. People survive with dementia for a long time. So um, it's very much doable. But, you know, we all know if you've had an experience with a fa family member who has suffered at the end with dementia, it is certainly not pleasant. And Alzheimer's, it is not pleasant. Um, my dad succumbed to uh, Alzheimer's uh, and dementia at 88. Um, and... You know, I have my thoughts on it. You know what I mean? At 88, what he was going through, I was kind of glad he had dementia in a way because he didn't know what was going on. You know what I mean? Like he wasn't, he was suffering in a different way because he was not able to really have any, re like he just, he didn't know what was going on at that point. You know what I mean? So he was very much in his own type of, in his own world towards the end. So, you know, I feel bad for Wendy because she's not even 60 years old, but you know, um, Wendy has had a, a life that many of us, you know, like Wendy's had a very full life and obviously this is no concession at her age to be going through what she's going through. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm sure her family is, uh, trying to tend to her as well as they possibly can. So we'll see the the documentary this weekend and see how it goes. It's extremely difficult and taxing on the loved ones, but Wendy may have a few coins we don't know about. So they'll have lots of caregivers and stuff like that. So um, we're going to let that, the Williams family handle that business. Um I feel very bad for Wendy. Wendy is not even 60 years old, you know, for a, for a youngish person. Mm -mm. Now for, I'm going to just say for my family, my dad was a, I'm so grateful. We didn't have to deal, you know, like there could have been so many other things we could have had to deal with. And, um, I'm just, I, you know, I was, uh, I was grateful for the journey that we were on. I'll put it like that. You know what I mean? I don't know about other people's journeys with surgeries and chemotherapies and amputations and all kinds of things like that. You know, my dad got to go quietly in his sleep. Um, and it was, you know what I mean? 
we actually, me and my, one of my sisters had a really good conversation about um, the end uh, maybe two days ago. And, um, you know, that's, uh, so yeah, I feel bad for Wendy. She's far too young to be going through this. She really is. She's far too young and it's unfortunate. Um, you know, drugs and alcohol can do a number on you. So yeah, it's, it's, un, it's very, very sad. Very, very sad. So, uh, I'm going to definitely be watching and, um, you know what, uh, is it, co is it psychos? Psychos? I'm not sure. Um, psychosis, maybe. I'm not sure. This can be a trigger. Uh, life is a trigger. Okay. Anything, anything that I'm talking about on this channel, rest assured, can most definitely be a trigger. Um, so uh, that's life. That's which we talk about life over here. And uh, so anyway, um, we will get into some Wendy. We will get into some Portia, and we will get into some Fanny. If I'm forgetting anything, let me know. Um, but right now we're going to get into a reaction. Yeah, I feel bad for her. Um, <clears throat> let me tell you, it's awful. It's awful. Um, it's bad. The very, very, very end is bad. Um, Let's see. Anyway, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Let's get into it. Um, gosh, there's so much to talk about. These, these three, these three. Okay, my God. Okay. Ah, uh, you know what? That's another thing. This morning, I was trying to search Judge Adams' calendar. Um. Girl, your guess is as good as mine. I, I feel like I'm going to be sending a request to the public information officer to get an update. I don't, I have no idea. I wish, like, today is a day that I'm like, I wish I was in Fulton County. You know what I mean? I don't know. Anybody who lives in Fulton County, they will be able to get the tea far quicker than I can. Um, when we get off of this live, I will message the public information officer to see if I can get any, um, any information. Um, I'll see if I can pull this up because I'm assuming my assumption is, is that he is going for, hold on, let me, let me pull out my notebook because I don't know. I, I thought, look, we know that, um, I, I don't know what the parameters are of, uh, you know, if Sylvia is going to court today, I understand she just got out of her situation yesterday. So I don't know what, um, what is going on. You know what I mean? Because let the truth be told, that's how, um, ma'am gave us a lot of the courthouse information. So I don't even know if that's happening or not. I don't know if anyone else got a rule 22. I'm not sure. I know I didn't get one because she doesn't, um, the judge does not operate on zoom. Now, um, which case is this? Let me see. I feel like it's the essay cases. <clears throat> yes. Um, when I share my screen, give me a minute. I'm going to message to the public information officer and see if there's any information like as far as what today's on was it on the docket for today is what was the time for court if court already happened you know can they send us anything so i will do that as soon as i get the video going so if i'm not talking for a minute you know what i'm doing i'm behind the scenes sending an email okay um, girl, somebody called ponytail. Ponytail's not going to tell us anything. I don't, let me tell you something. I call ponytail. I guarantee you, you guys would have a better way. You guys would have a better shot of getting information from ponytail than I do. Ponytail ain't talking to me. You know, you already know that <laughs> ponytail, ponytail and I are not friends. Okay. I mean, we're not enemies either, but ponytail doesn't like me. So that's okay. I, you know what my mom always told me when I was a little kid, since we're talking about 
parents and situations and whatever. Um, my mom told me that uh, I'm not here to be liked. Okay. Don't worry about people liking you. It's okay. You're not here to be liked. Okay. So I'm cool with that. <laughs> uh. All right, let me pull this up because I don't have the video up yet. Um, all right, I don't know what we're doing in order. I feel like we should do the Shirley call first, but um, let's do the Shirley call first. When is this? This Yeah, let's do the Shirley call because sometimes it's like, I think that with all these Sonia calls, it's easy to forget like, Nesto, you're married, sir. You're like carrying on. You are doing the most. You are saying, you are acting as if you are not even free. And this weirdo chick is over here like thinking she's something special because she's all up in your face. It's not even cute. Clarissa, you hope he doesn't get out? Well, we're going to see what the wheels of justice say. I mean, maybe they're going to pass down an indictment, but we hadn't heard of an indictment coming yet. So, girl, we're going to just have to see what happens, okay? Um, let's just hope that justice is served. And if he gets out, if he gets a bond today, that um, that gives the people of... Fulton County enough time to get a case together. But if not, I mean, he's still going to be out on bond with all of these financial situations. And he seems to be worried. I, I'm trying to piece it together, but he seems to think now, I don't think Sheridan has the ability to set him up in the way he thinks he's being set up. But he seems to think that Sheridan, this is what I'm piecing together from just some behind the scenes. I'm watching a lot of, I'm watching a lot. And I feel like he seems to think that Sheridan and Bipolar, aka Lakeisha, and maybe even Miles. There was someone who came to the comment and said, I've never heard anyone pronounce Miles, Miles. And I'm like, I've never seen it spelled M-Y-L-E-Z either because they spelled it the other way or I don't even know. M. However they spelled it, girl, please stop. <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not the, I, 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 come on. I don't know why they would spell a perfectly easy M-I-L-E-S M Y L E Z, but girl, it if it, it fit, okay? It seemed appropriate. Yeah, I don't know what that trial's gonna be like. They said what is they what's his charge? They said that he sent out revenge porn. Oh, thank you, extra. You're so sweet. I like you too. Um, so it's a re look when they get when that case progresses a little bit more and maybe I can get some of the documents so we can just read it. I'm going to be honest. I don't, I feel like some, I don't know anything about that audience, but maybe we'll cover like, we'll high level get into it on a day. Like maybe when they're getting close to rest their case or when the, um, the testimony becomes very compelling. Um, we'll see. Let me see what I can get a hold of without us getting all deep dived and we're just going to dip in and we're going to dip out. You understand what I'm saying? I just want to dip um, in on that. Let me put that on my list. I heard, but I was just like, oh, I don't know. But just, just for some, just on some keeping up with what's going on, okay? It's yeah, it's spelled M Y L E Z. I was like, what is that? Um, and the mill name Dejanay, girl. Um, oh, 
Absolutely. And what about it? Absolutely. Because the case is still going on. The case is still going on. And guess what? Even if the case wasn't going on, girl, how many videos have we seen? There's, there is um, probably five, six dozen videos. I don't even know if we've seen a dozen yet. We have to look and see how many um, sis has put out, but it's, even if she's put out 20, there's still a lot more. There's still there's still a lot to talk about here. So, um, but then there's other interesting stuff happening. You know what I mean? So this oh, it's like, okay, we found the the good thing is is that we found each other, right? We all found each other and we're here and we have a good time with it. That's the most important thing. Nesto doesn't make this community. This community makes this community. Okay. Can I get a witness on that? Yes. Get some uh get some manicure hands and pink hearts in the chat. Okay. Um, all right, let me drop the link to this video. If you're new here, we're getting ready to do a reaction to a video on a channel that we love to watch called Phone Calls from Prison. Um, and they put up a call. This is a conversation between the Williams. This is Mr. and Mrs. Williams, so to speak, um, allegedly. And I see you, boo boo. Um, I re I didn't, you know what? I didn't restart my computer, but I restarted the browser. I opened up like fresh tabs and stuff. It, it seems like YouTube might've been glitching earlier. I don't know, but it's, it's working right now. So that's the most important thing, but I see you, boo boo. Um, thank you for alerting me um, earlier. But yeah, I think whenever you notice if something is glitching or acting weird, make sure just like close out your browser and refresh your browser um, or refresh your app or worst case scenario, restart your phone kind of thing. I'm not going to lie. I think that AT&T thing yesterday screwed some things up. I, I can't put my finger on it, but our internet's acting weird. And we don't even have AT&T for internet. We have uh, fiber, Google fiber and spectrum. But anyway, that's not relevant anymore. It's over. It's in the past. Okay, let's get into it. And um, we're going to talk about it along the way. If you want to watch this uninterrupted, no commentary, you can do that. Click the link that I just provided. Otherwise, we make stops, we read comments, and we talk about it. Okay? Let's get it. 25th, 2023. You will hear them talk about Ebony Steel. And from what I hear, it sounds like... Oh, this was so funny, you guys. Let me tell you a little bit. So Nesto sent Shirley somehow a draft of his book. I know Shirley was probably sitting there thinking like, my God, Nesto has to bring something to the table because that something is not smarts. He's got to be bringing something to the table outside of what he needs to bring to the table because sir can't spell He's not using the uh, he's not using appropriate words, and his own wife was even like, "Look, what? Where did you get this word from?" Well, you know, I I've been I picked up a dictionary. He picked up an encyclopedia. So he says he has in, he has improved his vocabulary through reading the encyclopedia, not a thesaurus, not a dictionary. And you can improve your literacy by reading. Um, but he didn't do it in six months. And we know Nesto is not sitting there reading the encyclopedia. And we also know he is not reading the dictionary. Um, we just know he's not. I think he's talking to text. He's doing text to talk. And or somebody is helping him ghostwrite or something. Is that okay? Even Miss Netta got a man. Okay. Even Miss Netta got a man. All right. That and that's maybe because Miss Netta wanted one, right? It's okay to be single. It is okay. To, girl, let me tell you something. I just want to say one last thing. If I'm talking about so-and-so, don't feel like I'm talking about you. Don't take everything to heart, okay? Number one, this is for entertainment purposes only, okay? Okay? And um, I don't know you, <laughs> okay? Like, let's just be real. I don't know you, I don't know. I don't know what any one person in this chat is going through or somebody who's going to dip over here later. Don't take it personal. Okay. We are talking this. This is about the, the title and what's on, what's on your screen at this moment. Don't be all, don't be all offended. Don't be all, don't come here and get in your feelings over here. Okay. Don't do that. She reached out to okay. Shirley. 
Ernesto also <laughs> sent Shirley a sneak peek of his book where he talks about <laughs> people are funny. Said. Take a listen. Girl, wait till you hear about this eBay. E wait, e eBay's. Hey, eBay's. Wait till you hear this. This is funny. You didn't watch this yet? Okay, don't insert yourself, love. Girl, on Sunday, we might... Girl, let me write this down. On We might really need to talk about this, like, social media in general. Don't insert yourself. Stay in the computer. Can we all just stay in the computer? If I have a meetup one day, then come out the computer. You know, you know we're going to get on Eventbrite, and we're going to get our tickets, and then we're going to take it out the computer. And it's going to be respectable, dignified, and ladylike, right? Um, but don't... Just don't insert yourself, okay? Don't do that. Miss HLS said, bitches is mad all 2024. That's what it was in December. It was like, this is not, this is so, it was like, my God, is this what's going to happen all 2024? They just mad all 2024. It's like, come on now. Okay. All right. Let's let you guys are so funny. Um, 504 sent me a, a stickle. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Let me see. Okay. Run that, run that little cash register up. Thank you so much. Okay. Wait, hold on me. Let me run it the right way. That thing is taking forever today. Let me see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you to the good sis. If Nasty Nesto wants credit for me finding you guys, he have he can have it. Okay. Um, that part. Look, Nesto is trying to write a book and Shirley is going to help him. This was so funny. I was on school pickup line yesterday listening to this and I was dying. This was so funny. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi, hon. Hi, hon. Good. How are you? Hi, hon. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Hi, hon. I like to eat. Yeah, I am. I just Shirley's I just always put eating. Put some food in my mouth and the phone rang. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Just I'm in the street. <laughs> no, I'm at home. <laughs> oh. There you go with all those questions. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm not Shirley's like, would you please stop questioning me? Just talk to me like a normal person. If I am in the streets, I said I'm eating. That's that's what. Okay. Um, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, Dev made make it. No, she's in Miami. Damn, she's balling, ain't she? <laughs> she's going. She she has a um son. Her son lives there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. She's mm -hmm. balling out of control. Okay, that's cool then. Okay, did you get, <laughs> did you get my message about uh asking Dre to send the money today? Yesterday I sent it to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll text them. Because it, it got to be in for eight o'clock. Now I got to wait the next week. Okay. And, uh, you called earlier, but oh, I was you driving. Oh, you're driving. No, okay. you did. Okay. So did you talk? Let's just make a note too of the timestamp. This is uh, May twenty fifth. Uh, let me make sure you guys can see this a little bit better. This is May 25th. Um, let me move this. Uh, May 25th, 2023. So this is roughly... So before he went to court, that was June 26th. So this is a month before he goes to court on the CP charges, okay? Okay and gets the bond, the $200,000 bond, okay? But I think that they had talked about this in January. So he had already had the CP charges, but he went back, he didn't get a bond on it. Then he goes back in June and gets the 200,000, right? So this is kind of, and then that's when Kevin Majeski just kind of went in. Jonathan Salmon had gone in too earlier, but, um, this is around the time when Shirley is starting to lose it. So he, he talks to her um, and then he's, he's kind of, so let's get into it and then we'll talk about it later. But I just wanted to kind of put a timestamp in relation to things that we've heard recently. This is a month before 
the last call that we just heard from Shirley that they put out a few days ago, this is roughly a month, okay? You remember you just want me to ask him. No, I did talk to him. No, he told me he's going to send him, but it happened two days ago. Oh, he forgot, maybe. He forgot. Yeah, that's okay. And that's why I had uh, emailed you and told you, actually, not to let him forget, because I knew he was going to forget. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and I didn't think you, I was like, gosh, you must not be getting all my texts because he would have said it by now if you would have texted him. Okay. I'm sorry. I, um, I thought he would have said it by now. I kind of misunderstood your message. So ask him to send you. You, you went now? Hold on. That food must be good, homie. <laughs> It's just in my mouth. Well, you know what? She might just be hungry because she's actually has to live her life, work, pay bills, handle her own situation because her husband's been locked up for almost a year and she wants to eat. Nobody even knew you were calling. Like he just wants, he literally wants people to be like Sonia and drop what they're doing to be all up in his face. But Sonia is a thirsty pick me crumb snatcher. So She's gonna do all that, but Shirley is a um is a highly acclaimed legendary radio show hostess on the Steve Harvey show, and ma'am is living her life and she's a busy grandmother. So um okay. I gotta chew it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, Shirley actually eats where Sonia eats uh fettuccine with Alfredo sauce. Uh, once or twice a week. Do I have to send it to him? Uh, you can send it to him or he can do it on his own. And uh, uh, no, uh, my attorney hasn't showed up yet. Well, he did tell me he was coming today. <laughs> yeah, this evening. So it ain't this evening over, but they got to they can come in time to get ready. So yeah. You want me to send him a text too? No, no, no. It's okay. He coming, he coming. He know he's got to mm -hmm. come. Yeah. I guess I'll have to put some more put some more money on the phone because we only have five dollars left now. That, that's why I be texting. Uh, he doesn't have any money yeah. in his account. <laughs> yeah, so I'll put some more money on here the next time you call. Shirley eats food with a fork. Sonia, which look, I'm not downing food that you have to eat with your hand because I definitely will get into some hand food, but Shirley likes to eat with a fork. Okay. Shirley likes to eat with a fork and Sonia likes to, Sonia likes French fries and chicken tenders and tacos. Huh? I said, I appreciate you, you know what's going on with Tina Turner. With Tina Turner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh? She yeah, that was my girl. I didn't know she was older than you, though. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> older than Tina Turner? Dang. I, I don't even know if he knew thought that she was older than Tina Turner. I just think he just, he loves... He something weird about him. He just loves to talk about like how old people are. Like that's just he's a weirdo. He's he's like a strange man to me. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think, but he's very very strange. He's weird. Um and he's so into he's he's just into weird stuff. Let's let's put this over here like that. This is better. So we can we can watch the Williams. Yes. Yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with her age specifically. I just, I don't know, because I mean, look at Miss Robbie. Is Miss Miss Robbie got to be in her seventies, right? I don't think she's that old. I mean, she didn't look old. She didn't move like she, she didn't move yeah. like that. She got sick near the end. She got yeah. sick. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I saw that part. They showed it on the uh, on Good Morning America. She was getting sick at the end. I do like her husband yeah. gave a kidney. I do like that part. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that part now. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Uh, but what did you mean? What did you mean about? Okay, two things. Are you writing this stuff yourself, or do you yeah. have someone helping you write? No, I write it myself. You don't have any? You don't have anyone helping you? No, I got a uh, what's the dictionary. That's it. Oh, okay. Because I was like, well, I've never heard him use words like this before, like exponential, exponential, and I was like, okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know he's not getting ready to be offended because she said she's never heard him use a word that has more than like eight letters. Um, and it's not something like everything or somewhere or things, you know what I mean? Like simple compound words. Um, yeah, she's never heard you use a word like exponential. Okay. Um, that's yeah. She's been in the same house with you for over 10 years. But I mean, a long, long time ago, uh, what I did uh -huh. was... Um, the I, fact that he's having to explain where he's getting vocabulary from is giving suspect, okay? Is giving very much suspect and giving very much stop lying. I mean, what do y'all think? Is that is that weird? That not only did she have to confront him on asking him, are you writing this? But now he's also giving a bogus explanation. It's the, <laughs> it's a dictationary. <laughs> Look, he's, he's been slanging that zix, that zix dictionary all over Atlanta. He is not using, Sonia wrote it, or he's using the tablet. He's using text to talk. It's plagiarism. Okay. Look, you guys are coming up with the reasons. It, there's something invalid about this whole endeavor, but let's just let him continue, okay? Let's, let's let him have it for a minute because, okay, we know it's on some fugazi, but we're going to just, we're going to let it ride for a minute, okay? Um, what did I have it on before? Let me get back to the Williams. Let me get back to the Williams right here, okay? It's, oh, is giving a I. You know, AI will write you a book. They will. Or treatment. Absolutely. Yeah, he's using that tablet and he's talking into the tablet. And maybe he he can, listen, he can write his idea. This, If any of you have not used AI before, you can formulate an idea, right? You can copy paste that idea into AI and you can ask them to give you an outline. Like take, take this text and outline it to a treatment for a movie. Outline it to a screenplay. Outline it to a um, a course. You can you can pretty much almost ask AI to do everything. Is it going to be perfect? But it's going to give you enough ideas and maybe a little bit of. Um, it'll give you enough content for you to maybe take that and put an edit to it and come up with something, right? Um, but yeah. I, I like all of these ideas. You guys came up with some really good explanations as to how he could expand that very limited vocabulary um, into some actual legitimate storytelling. So, okay, great, great, great ideas. But that tablet is invaluable. He's not sitting with a notebook. He's not sitting with a with a with an actual writing tablet, paper and pen. No way. No way. When it got they had psychopedia date back then. Psychopedia and dictionary. Uh -huh. so I, I watched a program and it was a guy who was in that book. This is such a lie. This is such fucking cap. I watched it. I got an encyclopedia and then I got a dictionary and then I watched a program. He has to say all of that. Girl, you know, look, you know your man is dumb when you have to hear all of that. I'm sorry. He's a big dummy. He is a big old dummy, okay? Um, is it New Oh, New Yorker? Is it New Yorker? Michelle, I'm off today being nosy and maybe even petty. I don't know Nesto. I, I didn't know Nesto could read. We didn't know he could write, sis. We didn't know he could write, okay? You're not being petty. Look, when we sit up here and talk and talk that talk, talk that truth, that's not being petty, sis. We're just we're just talking about what it is, okay? Don't don't feel bad. This is a no shame zone over here. It's okay. You can talk that talk over here. 
It's all right. That's no, that's not a problem. Okay. Um, and I completely agree. Nesto is not giving the, he can, he's not, he's, his literacy is not up to par. Overcomer just dropped some memberships and let's see who just got gifted. Okay. Let my monitor has to catch up. Y'all give me just a second. Um, who, who doesn't, who is not a member already? Um, Max, boo boo, Tiffany J, Sherry Bell, Ashanti Felice, and Houston Foodie. Y'all just was it Houston? Oh, Houston Foodie's already been a member. It's April, guys. It's April one. Uh, let me see. It's April one. Yes, April one. Just got gifted Ashanti Felice, Sherry Bell, Tiffany J, and Max. Congratulations, guys. Thank you, Overcomer. Thank you for gifting. That's so sweet. And thank you to our good sis, Lachelle, who uh, dropped a super sticker and our Boo Boo 504. Thank you. Okay. He got a life sentence. So I didn't like him, but then I got the life. And later, he was older, but he had a life sentence. He's, this, this is all cap. PW, what's going on? It's like Dre asking him what woman... What woman are you yeah, talking to? Right. Okay. So I kind of, I know I didn't grow up like that. So I was just trying to figure out. So they say, I'm going to go get something. Uh, Dre set him up for the okie doke. Because why would Dre ask you what woman are you talking to when Dre stood up in your marriage? Dre stood up at the wedding. Why would Dre even put him out there like that? So excellent point. Um, that, that is definitely called falling for what the good old fashioned okie doke. And he did that. He, he did that very much. So, um, I think Tanya just, excuse me, Tony just gifted some memberships. Wow. Let's see. Tony. Thank you, Tony. Let's see what's going on here. Tony just gifted. Let's see. It went to N Harmon. It went to Sonya B. It went to Levette Hampton. It went to, and what about it? And it also went to Clarissa. Y'all just got gifted by our good friend, Tony Smith. Okay? Okay? And Nene Leaks is over there real grimily saying, and keep your legs close to married men. Okay? Thank you. Oh, look, we got another sis. April sent a four ninety nine super sticker. Thank you, sis. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting. You guys are so awesome. Okay, on a Friday. Okay, let's get back. Um, okay, let's get back and um, see what else is going on here. So he's giving a very long explanation. When all Shirley asked him was, um, Shirley just said, "Are you writing this? Who's writing this for you?" Because Shirley knows. Shirley knows just like we know. Her man is illiterate, okay? He used a word exponential, and she was like, who's writing this for you? Come on now. I'm not very funny. I want you to read it every day. So, and it brought me back. I'm not going to me encyclopedia. In addition to that. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah, yeah. You can't talk with well, You never use those words around me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I've been around these hood people. I, I never had. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I never. Uh, my words don't come out clearly. But I can put so on. you've never used those. She said you've never used those words around me. And he said, because I've been around these hood people. But now you're back in jail. And now you're. Come on, Nesto. It's not adding up, Nesto. It's a lie. Now, just say you're using AI. Say you're using the tablet. Stop lying because it's not making... We. I would love to see this manuscript. I promise you. I would love to see this manuscript. Real good. I can understand what's going on, too. Yeah. Yeah, real good. Yeah, you're a, you're a good writer. Um, okay, she said so he's what, a good oh, writer. So you were saying Ebony was stop-checking me because... What? <laughs> um... So I was checking, trying to see what's going on, I'm trying to just feel how you're doing, how you're feeling. You know, because women out there are not, they don't have a relationship over six months. 
okay? Because nobody is really loyal to nothing right now. And the way the way Atlanta has changed is like us, uh, how San Francisco used to be. Still is, but you know it's gay capital now. So the women and men ain't, ain't really true. Really, men and women are more they uh, bisexual. They like women and men, and that's that's the thing that uh, everything. Between the tampon comment to Dre the other day, and Nesto having some sort of news flash that everybody is bisexual, men and women, is. It's a uh, it's uh, it's suspect to me because how do you have how do you have this knowledge? You know, people often deflect or make generalizations based on what they know because that's what they're doing. I'm just saying. I want to know: Is his tablet gone? Like a hundred percent for sure? For sure. I I would love to get some confirmation if that tablet is actually really a hundred percent gone. But yeah, tablet allegedly gone. It came up with. And then on top of that, her mama, when her mama died, and her daddy moved on to with another woman quickly. I'm talking about like a month later after she died because he was already dating her before her mama died anyway. It's like, sir, what are you talking about? So he's talking about Ebony Steele, and I guess her mom died, and maybe Ebony Steele allegedly was with a woman. Is that what he's trying to say? Yeah, and I ain't really true with really men and women no more. So he said that Ebony Steele was soft checking Shirley. Uh, bisexual. They like women and men. Okay, we know what that means, Nesto. And that's, that's the thing that uh, everything came up with. And then on top of that, her mama, when her mama died, and her daddy moved on to another woman quickly. I'm talking about like a month later. As <sighs> I'm trying to just let it reset itself. What does that have to do with Ebony soft checking Shirley? Did you guys understand this? Okay, let me take this offline for a second. Nesto is a very strange person. Let me see what you guys are saying in the comments so I can just look at that real quick. And that's, that's the thing that uh, everything came up with. And then on top of that, her mama, when her mama died, and her daddy moved on to another woman quickly. I'm talking about like a month later after she died because he was already dating her before her mama died. Okay, so I'm not sure, Houston Foodie. Um, look, there was a reference being made a while ago that Judge Manning's order stated no internet, no no internet usage. We talked about it the other day. I showed you guys the order um, on that uh, on that charge. Now that bond order isn't still in play. Let me. I don't have. I don't think I have the bond order. You know what? Okay. Uh, on his other bonds, I would need to pull those bond orders to see if there's similar stipulations and similar, like, no contact. But if there are similar stipulations, similar no contact... I think that, um, I, you know, I mean, that could be a safe assumption. I don't know if it, I'm sure it didn't hurt. Let's say that way. I, I don't know that that was the nail, that was the reason, but it was said on a couple of occasions, one being the tour at Cobb County and two on a live stream. And, you know, she said on numerous occasions, Judge Manning wants her channel so I don't really know, girl. And and allegedly, Judge Manning kind of watches all of us, you know. Um, I don't know if it's for the substance uh, or is it just for the um, she's the judge who is presiding over some of his case and just keeping her eyes on what's going on on social media, for whatever reason she's uh, consuming it. But yeah, uh, I'm sure it didn't 
let's say it like this. I'm sure it didn't help rather than hurt. Um, cause I guess it depends on how you look at it, but I think it came up on a couple of occasions and it's quite possible. Mm -hmm. Girl joy. I don't know what a joy. I don't know what he's talking about. He's so Shirley asked him a question. What makes, what, why did you say that Ebony was, was soft checking me? And I'm going to just let him talk. Let's go back. Cause this is, sir is. Sir is really having a hard time communicating. Hold on. Let's go back. Okay. Yeah, I never, uh, my words don't come. <laughs> oh, I never knew that. Yeah. Yep. He said, now, if you can't talk well. You never you use those words around me. <laughs> that could have been around these hood people. I, I never had. I oh, never, okay. Yeah, I never, uh, my words don't come out clearly. But I can put on paper real good. I can understand what's going on too. Yeah. Yeah, real good. Yeah, you're a, you're a good writer. Um. Okay, so what? Oh. Uh, GC, thank you. Probably writes just like he talks. He had some help. I think he was using the tablet. I think he was using text to talk, and then he probably threw it into some type of an editor. And ask the editor to, you know what I mean? Like a Grammarly or something. A Grammarly will do that. You could write some trash and Grammarly will clean that thing right on up. Okay. So they may have some sort of jail subscription to Grammarly. And Grammarly would just handle that business. Okay. And someone just sent me a cash app. Thank you so much, y'all. So you were saying Ebony was soft checking me because what? <laughs> Thank you, JK. Um, Thank you for the cash app. I appreciate it. Y'all, I can't. So let's see. Did I just get it? Some, okay. All right. We're caught up on super chats and cash apps. I know I've skipped a bunch of comments, so we're going to have to. Um, all right, let's, hopefully this is going to start working right. The past couple of days, StreamYard has been like butter, and then now it's back to yeah, chit show. You know, because women out there are not, they don't have a relationship over six months. Okay, because, because no. So women don't have relationships over six months, but he's the one who's married, having an affair with multiple women getting into financial uh, situations with women that he's sexing. Um, but he has a theory about women not being in relationships over six months. I wonder why. This is ridiculous. All right, give me a second. Let me fix this. Um, so I was checking, trying to see what's going on, I'm trying to just feel how you're doing, how you feeling, you know, because women out there are not, they don't have a relationship over six months, okay, because cause nobody's really loyal to nothing right now, and the way, the way Atlanta has changed, just like us, uh, how San Francisco used to be, still is, but, you know, it's gay capital now, so. It's the gay capital now, that's what he says. Men and women are more. They uh, bisexual. They like women and men, and that's that's the thing that uh, everything. Mm, his mom. Okay, that. Ebony's mom had a same sex. Okay. Mama, my mama died, and her daddy moved on to another woman quickly. I'm talking about like a month later. I should. Oof. Yeah, because he was already dating her before the mama died anyway. Oh. Uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah. I never exposed none of this stuff. I, uh, I promised her mom I wouldn't expose her lifestyle. Um, okay, so Ebony Steele's mom had a lifestyle, so maybe she was a lesbian. Um, Ebony's dad moved on after Ebony's mom, like a month later, had some someone else. Well, Nesto, you're a grown man. How would that look, you running this lady's business? 
And you know, it's been almost a year that you're sitting in Fulton County and you know they're listening to your calls. You don't know yet that this is getting ready to happen, but you're running your mouth now. When she tried to try to bash me and put crazy stuff on in there by me, but I never bashed her at all. So mm -hmm. the thing is with the nag, I don't know if you remember, because I forgot that I sent it off, forgot to tell you. I just didn't want to go write a whole story about this moment, uh, to you. It's just that uh do you remember when Renee tried to hook me and hurt back up? Come on, oh, you yeah. heard this shot. What the what the F is you talking about, fool? Yeah, that was a setup. Yeah. That was a setup. That was a setup. Mm -hmm. Anyway, whatever. I, I was just. Shirley's like, look, I don't care. So, Panay, well, Panay's messy, and we know this. Um, Panay set up Shirley with Nesto, knowing he had dated Ebony. And according to him, Panay tried to set him back up. Why would why would Ebony need Nest? Why would Ebony need Panay? to hook back up when she, I'm sure she could just call him, but um, that just makes it sound like Panay's extra messy. So, okay. I mean, I don't believe, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna say I don't believe it. Um, who cares? You know what I mean? What if he's really trying to do is keep Shirley from speaking to Ebony anymore? What if he's also trying to keep Shirley from, getting her relationship back with Panay. Like, don't forget, Panay's the one, not only did you two fall out because Panay was doing you dirty, but don't forget, Panay tried to double back and help me spin the block with Ebony. You know what I mean? Like, Panay was trying to get Ebony to come through and spin the block again behind your back. So, we don't know. You know, he's always got something to say about Debbie. Hey, Rebecca. Um... Hey, Yasmin. Welcome to everyone coming in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Friday, guys. Um, he seems like he's always into something, and he's very much into some very petty... Like, you know, it's not even like when people say, oh, he gossips like a woman. He just gossips. There's a lot of women that do not gossip like that, and there's a lot of men who actually do, and he's definitely with the bitch-assness for doing and behaving in such a manner. Um, that he is running the T and also running something to her that could actually hurt her feelings um, at this moment when he knows that he's she's dealing with her daughter and her daughter loves Panay, right? So Nesto's strange. All right, let me... I wasn't... Yeah. Okay, let me... All right, guys, give me just a second. Let me, I want to like totally reset this thing. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't know. We're going to, if we're going to have problems this whole afternoon. Okay. Okay, let me see if this. Okay, guys, here. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. I just said thank you. I didn't, that's all I said. Oh, okay. And then, okay, go ahead. Uh, something else? No, it was something else. So I was going to, oh, I think I asked you about the words. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I got time to say he ain't licking dick in there. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. I'm going to have to go get my other computer in a second because it keeps stalling like this. I want to switch computers. Um, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you, guys. Do you think Nesto is trying to say Ebony is the one setting him up? I don't know. I mean, maybe what he's also saying is that he has a lot of female. He has a lot of enemies. Could that be it? Um, I don't look. That's that's bad. Um, in my opinion, like as a man, why do you have so many damn enemies? That's crazy, right? Um, I don't know. That's quite strange to me that you should have so many people that are against you. But maybe that's normal for him because he thinks he thinks he's somebody. Um, I, you know, like, I don't know. I really don't. I'm not sure. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if he means it that Ebony's trying to set him up. Um, I know it doesn't seem good what he's doing and what he's saying. Um, I think he feels like it's weird. Like, for instance, I don't know if you guys have been watching the Adelson case, right? Um, at the end of the day, when, um, when was it Dan? Uh, Wendy's husband was killed, um, allegedly, you know, the hit called in by Charlie and the mom, Donna. Um, when they questioned Wendy the day that her husband passed away and she, they asked her, well, who do you think could do this? And she says, oh, well, my brother, my parents hate him. Like she was going down the damn list, you know? I don't know if he feels like it was Ebony or not, but um, he's mentioned his daughters. He's mentioned um, uh, Sheridan, but you he would have to prove or he needs some sort of evidence to make it like, okay, why would, how would Sheridan be able to get in touch with the real estate agent, with the teacher, I mean, maybe she did find out that he was having affairs on her mother. If your mother is giving her all to some guy and finds out that he is no damn good and he is giving your mom the business and he's lying to her and he could be swindling her and you are concerned, um, I don't think that, I think Sheridan's doing her job as a daughter um, letting her know what's going on now. What did he do? What did she do with that information? Like, how is I don't know, understand why everything has to be a setup. Maybe that's just her. I don't know. That's her telling her, keeping her mom in the loop that your husband is a fucking mess, man. I mean, he's not a good guy. So I don't think that that's a setup. I think like mom needed to know. Um, I don't know what you guys think about that, but let me see. Hopefully, hopefully I've fixed this a little bit. We'll see. Um, let's see. I don't think that that's Sheridan setting him up. I think the, um, the Adelsons are very strange, but you know what I'm saying? Like, um, for him to think that everyone's out to get him, like, Wendy just rattled off names and it just so happens that that's who it is. I don't know that that's the case with Nesto um, because I would think the people on the police reports, if in fact those transactions happened, what, why is that? I mean, with uh song, you say it's civil, it's civil, it's civil. How does Sheridan know about all that? And how would Sheridan use that to set him up other than to just tell her mother, mom, your husband is a mess. He's out here doing the most. He's got relationships and he's financially tied in with people who say that he's been scamming him. So how is that a hook? How is that a setup? Okay, <laughs> Benita Dutrell. <laughs> Benita Dutrell, didn't the original news article ask for the victims to come? It absolutely did. It absolutely did. Okay, let's see if. That was a setup. Mm -hmm. Anyway, whatever. Okay. All right, I'm going to get my computer in a second. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, let me get my computer from the bedroom. Um, okay, guys, give me just a second. Just stand by. Okay, guys, I just dropped the call in. Give me just a second while I get this together. If somebody wants to call in, um, you are more than welcome to do so. Uh, ooh, Jamie is dropping keep your legs close to married men, okay? All right, give me just a second because I don't know if you just heard my computer uh, starting up. Okay, it's going to be just a, you think he's working on a coloring book? Conesto knows he wasn't set up. It's all an act for him to, I mean, he can call out set up all he wants. I want to know what the setup is. What's the setup? I mean, the setup, if somebody, it's kind of like, um, thank you for the milestone chat, boo. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's kind of like if you are caught trying to hire a prostitute, right? If you're out on the street and a prostitute approaches you and you solicit the prostitute that, you know, I guess people used to look at that maybe like as in entrapment or something like that. So the potential John has to actually solicit the prostitute rather than the person, you know, it has to be a very deliberate act because yeah, I guess it can be seen as a setup. Um, so guys, when I tell you the nightmare that I have gone through trying to get these, I, I don't even want to talk about it. I just don't even want to, I just got a text from the person from AT&T with all this nonsense. I swear to God, I was trying to be nice. Farrah and I were walking through the store. Um, and this has been a nightmare ever since. Um, the girl just texted me. is like, I'm out of the office today. Yesterday she left the office. I just need three new phones ordered with the proper memory. That's all I want. Like, I don't care who does it at this point. Um, I don't care how many. I, I just don't care. Like, I'm at the point right now, like, I'm just so aggravated and I wish someone would take care of this um, before I really have to take care of this myself, <laughs> which really and truly, I think I'm going to just call AT&T tonight when I've had a glass of wine and am in a better headspace to where I'm not feeling aggravated and feeling some type of way. Um, okay. All right. All right, guys, bear with me just a second. I'm pulling it up on my other computer and network it over here.
that's one of the I like that my iPhone and my compute my um my Mac is a uh, network, but then sometimes I don't because sometimes I don't like seeing all those messages while I'm doing stuff. Because it just irritates me. Babe, like, I really, these two. Portia and Lambo. Okay, they're fighting over a bone. Okay, guys. One second. Okay, guys, thanks for bearing with me. Nesto is writing a primary book. See Nesto play. Nesto play all day. If Nesto plays, Shirley pays. Sonia stays. And sure, Nesto is no more. Wow. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, is this playing now? Um, oh. nothing. I just walked in the house not too long ago. Okay, so what you mean doing something productive? What you mean? You're not doing nothing? Yes, just, just more productive, like reading, you know, occupying my mind. You know, that's all. I haven't been walking because the weather's been bad. And I have to go so far. I got to figure this walking thing out because I really want to do it. But I don't like going out by myself. I just don't like going out by myself. It so makes me a little like, nervous now. Do you like walking on the machine thing? You know, the walker thing? The walker no, I do not. I do not. No, I do not. Okay. I like being outside. Oh, okay. Well, do you like walking in the swimming pool? You see no. his limited vote. He doesn't even I don't know like treadmill. Funding pools. Now you ought to know that. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I don't like public bathrooms, swimming pools, none of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm trying to help you, but uh, you might, no, it's uh, okay. I, I'll get it together. Yeah, okay. it's all right. I'll uh, get it together. Okay. Well, you're planning to be back uh, this weekend, one. Oh, I don't know. I mean, oh. I'm not. It's, it's okay. She could stay as long as she wants. It's it's fine. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, what has she been doing? Yeah, I mean, while she has while she has the time, she should. Well, her she has a son that lives in Miami, so he wanted to her to come and see him, so she did. Oh no, I'm talking. What you've been doing? Um. Well, let's see. Yesterday, it's like I he had. Um, I worked. It's like he asked her what she's doing as if she's living her life. She's living her life. You're not here. What is? What else is she supposed to be doing? 
And the fact that he's like trying to check her on Debbie, that was just, it's weird how he's always trying to check for Debbie and where's Debbie, what's Debbie's doing, how long is Debbie staying there? I guess he wants to know he's got a place when he gets out, but what we know is that they're going to have that conversation a month from now and she's like, nah, you can't come. So. I went and got my nails done. Then we had to um, work again in the afternoon, Carla and I. And then after that, um, I just chilled. Then today I went to get my hair done and that's about it. I didn't do too much today. Now that's a lot. That's, a, that's enough. It's like he has yeah. to give her a complete yeah, rundown. I, mean, I have stuff to do. I have stuff to do. I, it's just, you know, regular stuff. I um, I was telling Monica yesterday, I was like, dang, I wish we knew somebody. I wish I knew somebody with a yacht. Today is the yachting weather. I need to be out on a yacht. <laughs> Surely it's not giving yachting money, yeah. sis. Well, you yeah. Move this country town, then you get to that point. <laughs> yeah, because there's no water here. Well, Lake Lanier, but it's too dangerous. Lake Lanier is too dangerous. Yeah. And plus People the, die over there. They still go out mm -hmm. there. I don't know why. And it's nasty, too. The water is nasty. Yeah. There's, there's not too many places, it seems like, in the U.S. where the water isn't nasty. Oh. Okay. If you want clean, pretty water, you got to go to the Caribbean or, you know, someplace like that. Yeah, you do. You you you, you do. You, you definitely do. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, there ain't nothing going on over this again over here. I've been patient. Uh -huh. Just keep writing, trying to stay focused. And that's kind of it. You know, you got nothing else to do but just sit here and write. So that's it. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. It. You you got my text about reading your... um. <laughs> I said he's going to laugh about that. Because I said you were going to laugh about that. Honey, proofread your stuff. I did, I did. But see, sometimes it was just a problem. Well, sometimes when I do get the pad, I had to hurry up. Mm -hmm. uh, don't have that much time. You got to hurry up, yeah. Yeah, so that tells me, like, hey, I would just put that on that tablet because um, I had to write it down. Once I had to write it down, I didn't have to wait the next day to get the tablet. Then write a part of the time because it cuts off every two hours. Oh, okay. Yeah, then when I use it, I got to have the money to make sure the money on there. That's why I was trying to tell you, when I use it, I text you and I, I can text faster if I uh, want to communicate with you so I pick the phone up because they call it more on the phone. Uh, then yeah, yeah. Plus, yeah. Plus He's definitely phone, text to talking. What she's saying. And I can uh, understand a little bit. I can, I can uh, concentrate on mm -hmm. what you're saying to Yeah. And I can mm -hmm. respond back quicker. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that's it. So then sometimes I only feel like putting the glasses on uh, just to do that because I bought some glasses. Yeah. The door. So oh, I, okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. good. You want yeah, I can, your I eyes. Can see, yeah, I can see the little bit of Webster. Mm -hmm. And I got a Webster uh, dictionary on the page, too. And it's and it's spell uh -huh. check it's spell check for you because I do spell the wrong word or whatever. Some of my staff, so I go to the dictionary, see what it means, and go different. Yeah, and most of the words. Yeah. Are, are, well, why can't ahead. he just? Mm -hmm. go ahead. No, go ahead. Finish with your thought. I mean, ahead, he did. Know, he really I does need to just talk into the iPad. That I forgot about. No, we don't read. Oh it. yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. And then when you finish your book, you'll have an editor, and an editor will make sure everything's perfect. Yes. And, you know, no left out words, no misspelled words, none of that. Yes, 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 yes. Because it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a long, drawn out journey, but yeah, so, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a little bit more sneak peek. I don't remember. I didn't remember. I remember Fifty Cent being at that hotel, but I, I didn't. I didn't know you guys had an encounter. I didn't know that. Yeah, that, was that he and about. then he ended up apologizing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got that's so of crazy. Yeah, I got but I remember seeing him at the hotel. I remember him seeing. I remember seeing him there. You remember? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yes, because he was tall. I didn't remember him being that big. I didn't no. know he was that big. 
So he's sitting up here writing like a memoir or something. I wonder how Shirley feels about him what like talking about their relationship and story. But I mean, fast forward, all of this is coming out now anyway, but it's weird that she's not even saying anything about him sharing their story without her permission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, you know, certain things. Um, that's, a, that's a lot you probably forgot about, it, but I'm, it's all good. I'm going to bring it up. Yeah, I'm going to give you a sneak peek. You just saying thing with uh, Thank um, you, Lady Diamond. I spelled her name wrong. Uh, Underwood. Who? Uh, Underwood. Oh, it's with an S. Yeah, yeah, with an S, not a C. Yeah, I mm-hmm. wrong. Um, I called. I called Lamont today. And he said it would call me back, but he didn't. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. He probably is hot. Well, that's out okay. There. It sounded like he was traveling. Oh, okay. It's probably hot out there. Everybody moving around now. So. Yeah, well, people are here. Traffic is bad. People are here for the holidays. Oh, that's what it is. So I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably stay inside. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. Okay. I um, yeah, I gotta figure out this um, um, you know, uh, and there's some stuff I have to figure out. So are you enjoying your plays? Uh, are you feel like you're getting bored? Or are you okay? You comfortable? Or? Yeah, I mean my place is beautiful. You know, it's nice and everything. It's okay. It's small. You know, like I say, it's small. I'm grateful, though. I'm very, very grateful. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'd rather have a house. <laughs> I know you do. I, 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 I'd rather I, have a house any day. Any day. Any day. Any day. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's safe here. It's very safe here, um, I think. But, yeah, I'd rather have a house. The, um, the, the people that moved in across the hall have this big black dog. And one day I opened the door and the dog ran toward the door and I just swung <laughs> the door real fast. <laughs> and the lady was like, oh, Shirley, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I said, it's okay. It's all right. Don't worry about it. It's all hey, good. Wait, it must be white, folks. Uh-huh. Of course. Yeah, it's mostly in this building. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're really nice, though. It's, it's, <laughs> it's sometimes it's the black people that don't speak to you. <laughs> Wow, yeah, that's a shame. And that's a shame, man. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then my son wants you yeah. so Look, you side. you can't have it both ways. Either you want people to talk to you or you don't. Shirley's afraid of people talking to her. So people who are respecting your privacy and just respecting, like, maybe she doesn't want to be spoken to, like, it's not good enough that they don't speak to you, but you want you you kind of are cute about the white people talking to you and that's okay. And you laugh. So it's like, what are y'all trying to say here? Like, I I don't get it. Does that make sense? Either you're afraid of people or you're not, or are you just afraid of the black people? Or is it that you like, I feel like Shirley would actually even be mad if people are trying to speak to her. So who cares that they don't talk to you? I'm sure you don't talk to them. That's weird to me. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So the hallway clean and all that stuff? Yeah, it's very clean. They take good care of the building. It's been here for quite some time. They take very good care of the building. They clean it just about every day or every other day. They shampoo the carpets and wash the windows and do all of that stuff. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you ain't heard nothing from uh, yep. Dion? No, and I, I tried to call him not too long ago. I thought I would. Thank you, Just Nesto's friend. I and I didn't. But um, I did try to call him, but I, I did call him, but there was no answer. So. I might need to come yeah. and see, figure out what's going on with him. I ain't talked to him about three weeks, so. Yeah, about time to see what's going on with him. Yeah. Oh, okay, well. You know, sometimes I feel like talking, sometimes I don't, but I'll I'll definitely call him and check on him. Uh, I, I, Seems I, I, like I, he would be calling to check on me, yeah, <laughs> but I'll definitely call him. 
No, that's, yeah. uh, that's true. That, you're right. You're right. We all don't feel like talking mm-hmm. sometimes. I get that. Yeah. I, I understand. Yeah. Trying to draw a conversation. You really don't even feel like drawing a conversation up. I get like that. Too. Yeah. Cause I know. Because <laughs> it's like, what are you going to talk about? There's nothing to talk about. I'm tired of talking. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> I'm tired good. of talking. Yeah. I'm tired of talking. That's yeah. Good. Exactly. Yeah. yeah we need action. I'm tired of talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Got to need some action. I mean, you know, sometimes you feel like that, but it's all good. Yeah. I, I all good, I, all good. I, I, I understand. I definitely understand. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, this text, Mr. Dre, is texting me no more. I did boy. already. I texted I'm, him. Yeah. I'm always starving. And I said, well, I said you said call immediately. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I just told her I was just checking up on you. No, say, see, I didn't say that. Why are you, you telling him that? I, I, I know. I was just joking with him. He's, I know it because I know that what she said. That was funny to me. Yeah. Just make him laugh. That's all. <laughs> oh, oh, he said, I know that's not what she said. Oh, yeah, okay, good. Yeah. So he knows I didn't say that. Oh, right. no, you didn't say that. Yeah, he knows you didn't say that. He's, he, 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 oh, okay, good. That's, that's all. You haven't spoken to Lamont either? I talked to him about mm, a week and a half, two weeks ago. Not long, though, because uh-huh. uh-huh. he was telling me that him and his, uh, I think the girlfriend he had, uh, well, me and you met out there in Vegas. I think they fell out of something. But I didn't, I didn't even go that far. I told him I'll pick up with him with mm-hmm. that when I get out, because I can't do no, I can't really uh, get no advice from you. And nobody ain't trying to get <laughs> locked up, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So that's a, well, I mean, he was he laughing him, at starting I, shit I, and I'm lying. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't think. I don't think he. Uh, I told him you're gonna be. He's not interested man. in keeping. No, but he's gonna sit down for what I told. Him, that this ain't that time no more. Because in a minute, the police force ain't gonna have no job now. A robot taking over. Mm-hmm. They're gonna hit us first. Yeah. Yeah, the robots are taking over, that's for sure. And then, um, you know, if the Republicans get back in office and this racist guy that's getting ready to get back in, we shoot, who, they might go back to slavery. <laughs> shoot, did that guy from Florida get in? We go on, definitely going back. To that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I'm talking about, him. Yeah. Uh, you know, him about or Trump. Trump. Yeah, 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 we done. We're done. Yeah. Them, them folks, yeah. they don't want none of us going down there. No more. Going they to put, Florida, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, it's fine. You know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. These white folks, you know, they can have it. I don't I don't even care. It's like, <laughs> it's not, I just, you know, it's these politicians, it's the police officers, regular people that you know. I'm just going to say, I'm really surprised at Shirley. Um, she, she comes off as really, really ignorant. I'm just going to say it. And, you know, people feel how they feel and people have their own ideologies and politics and what they're thinking and not thinking, but she sounds dumb AF. And I'm just very surprised that a woman who um, makes money and who has opted to not pay her bills and take full advantage of the government and having her debts wiped away clean on maybe one or two occasions. Your husband is a fucking bum who barely can speak and you got the nerve to talk about that. Some people are going to try who like, okay, re- seriously. Like, do you really think there's going to be this, some old slavery? Okay. Like it's just the inflammatory talk for me. I just think it sounds dumb. And if you re if this is really what you think, um, I'm not surprised. Like who's, if this is how you really feel and this is what you really think, I'm just thinking, how did you end up with Nesto? Because Nesto is really a bum. I feel like Nesto is really, really a bum. I'm I'm very surprised at how she talks. I thought, um, you know, not that I would look, I, I just thought that Shirley would be a little bit more open minded and look at and and I know they do try to clean it up a little bit like you know all black people aren't this and all white people aren't that 
But I'm just surprised that two people at a big age are still like, why are we still having this conversation? Hadn't y'all talked about how you feel about certain things? Like all of this, it's a setup and all of this, like all of their dialogue is just so stupid. I really, I don't know. It's stupid to me. I, I just, I, I'm kind of a little disgusted at, at her conversation. Um, I know Marjorie wouldn't say anything like that. I'm just going to, uh, so I'm going to be petty right now. I'm going to say, I know Marjorie wouldn't say all that. Meet on the street. You know, they don't act like that, you know? No, they don't. They, they don't. might feel that way. You know, they might feel that way about some people, but, you know, I don't, I don't like the all. The robots are all taking over. All oh. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. It's like, but yeah, all think. black people aren't good. All white people aren't bad. You know, it's just it, it's just that when people get an office like that, they give them it's almost like the right to treat us any old kind of and way. And he's using you know, the that's, robots that's, to write his right. autobiography. Right. So yeah. Oh, but it's not. It's not. It's, it's not. It's good that you have mm -hmm. a great balance of people. So that's good. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. That makes sense. I mean, people are people. God created us all. He created us all. That's, that's he true. created everyone. Now, I wonder mm -hmm. why this man told you he was coming. No, he ain't showing up today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering why she felt some type of way because the black people don't speak to her. Maybe they're minding their own business. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. Well, that'll be all right. Well, you, you, you stay focused on what you're doing and uh, you got your place together and everything. So I don't know yeah. how you're going to do it. But you gotta get your sister down now, cause I'll be home soon now. But we're not sitting in no house looking at each other. You have one minute <laughs> remaining. I'll just stay here right now. Well, where are we going? And you know what? I'm just sitting up in here in that house. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Debbie. She loves to be outside. Yeah. I'm like, I'm fine. No, we're going to sit in here for a while. It's like, you hear that, Sonia? Yeah, He's making talk. plans to be with no, his not wife. Too long, not too long, but we need to, yeah. He, we definitely he's need making to plans to be with her, too. To sit down and, yeah. yeah we can we don't have to stay here every day. But it, it's nothing to do here anyway. It's never been anything to do in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true. Atlanta's boring, unless you're young and you can go out to the clubs and all of that stuff. He but sure is, Reality Check. Else to, you know, something to else to do, because, yeah, it's just boring here. It's nothing to do. Yeah, it is boring. It's a young town, like you said. Mm -hmm. It's very boring. Mm -hmm. But the phone's going to cut off, and I like very much. Yeah. Stay focused. And love you, too. Okay. All right, and you, too. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Thank you for using Global Telling. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss the next one. Okay, I cannot with those two. Um, okay. Let me change my headphones, guys. Let me tell you, this setup that I have to do is awful. Um, I'm going to reset everything, and then I'm going to come back. Um, do you guys want to do the Sonya video? Um, or what would you guys, what do you guys want to do? Um, what time is it? It's like three 15. Um, I know there was a Sonya visit. Um, I think I feel like I'm pretty much up on everything else. I'm not sure what else is going on, but I'm just, I don't know. Shirley is a very different person. She's, she, um, I don't know. Maybe that's why she ended up with Nesto because she's all over the place. I'm going to be honest. Shirley seems to be all over the place. Um, it's very boring. Um, I think Sonia's call might, Sonia's visit might've been boring too. Um, let me do a little bit of email and see if I can find out like what happened. Um, do you really think that he and Lamont are brothers? I'm not really sure. Um, so if they have the same mom, um, I guess there would be, a. am assuming, um, I don't know. I'm sure someone out there will dig, but 
Earl Lamont, whatever his late last name was, versus uh, Nesto Lavert Williams. Um, he got a four hundred fifty thousand dollar bond. Is that what you're saying? Four hundred and five thousand dollar bond. Um, where did you hear that, Rhonda? Hey, Rhonda. Um, can you break that down? Because there were five charges. So did he get? Let's see. So there's five charges. And right, I know it's on Sonia's visit. Yeah, him talking about uh Lamont being a, a brother from another mother. Um, was this for does he still have? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know where that came from. So, Rhonda, um Someone just dropped 405. I don't know. I can't substantiate that. I don't know where that came from. Um, what time is the hearing? Same room. Oh, Pam just dropped that. So was Pam there today or Pam got um, some information? Let's see. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I can... So if that's the word on the street, then the it would have already happened. I'm going to ask for the bond, the bond um, details, and let's see. All right, so she just posted on her community wall. Let me see. Okay, Pam posted on her community wall. If you go take a look. Um, it says Ernest Williams just got a four hundred and five thousand dollar bond. We have so much to unpack. Okay. Um, oh, so she did end up going to Atlanta. She says I'm currently at Fulton County Court for the Ernest Williams hearing. Williams' attorney argued that she did not want the hearing recorded. We have so much to discuss. We might have to do. We might have. We might have to have club intellect tonight because the last video calling alleged calling the alleged that the certain blogger provided photos of a victim had my mouth okay what was that oh that was 12 days ago okay my bad scratch that okay so the last two comments i was like what is that i was like what am i reading okay so the last two comments that pam put up uh one was about an hour ago and then one was 12 minutes ago one stating that she was at Fulton County. Um, his attorney argued that she did not want a recording of the um, of the hearing and um, won 12 minutes ago. So um, he got a $405,000 bond. What that means, I do not know as far as the breakdown, but I'll put in a request for the bonding sheet and see what information is on there and get back to you guys. So yeah, let's, I'm going to take a break. Let me get my household together. Let me get this dog out of this office. Um, and I will come back and we'll talk about Sonia's and I'm going to see what I can find out. Um, but yeah, thanks to Pam, uh, Esquire. If you're not familiar with her channel, um, and you are new here, um, you must be, if you have not heard of Pam's channel before, I'm going to drop the link to her channel, but she has it posted on her community wall that she was in uh, Fulton County for the day. She was in the court observed, uh, I guess, Hannah Rondon argue um, that she did not want the hearing televised. I'm not sure what, or not televised, recorded. And I'm not sure how that went, but uh, maybe 40 minutes later, Pam drops uh, an update that he got a $405,000 bond. And um, she says that there's a lot to unpack. So if you're not subscribed over there to Pam's, go check it out because Sis is coming with the tea direct from the courthouse. So we can do that. You want to call in? I'll drop the phone line to do a few call-ins and then we'll do more tonight. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to drop the link now, but let me kind of reset myself, get this dog up out of this room. My husband put her in here and it's like, why? Why? <laughs> okay. Give me just a sec. Okay, guys. So you guys wanted to call in. Are we talking Nesto or we're talking hot topics? I guess you can just ask whatever and whatever I can answer, I will. Um, I mean, I want the other. Um, oh, well, he's, I mean, look, based on what he's got, he probably still has half a million dollars in bond. Let's be real. Let's just, so he just got 405,000, right? Did we just get another one? Okay. Thank you to all the new members. Thank you for all the super chats, stickers, everything, cash app. I appreciate y'all. Let's look at it this way. Nesto legit has half a million dollars in bond. Okay. He just got 405,000. So he did get a bond. Um, I don't know if there's an indictment, but off the top of my head, based on what other things he has for the conspiracy. He's still on half a million dollars. Who's coughing up $50,000 for this weirdo? Okay. Who's coughing that up? And thank you to Rhonda, um, whoever, I think it was Rhonda who dropped that into the chat. So thank you, sis. I appreciate that very, very much. Um, and also a special shout out to Pam for putting that on her community wall. That was very much appreciated to announce that to the streets so that we have that information and she's definitely a trusted source. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, I don't care what anybody says. That's a lot because four Oh five on top of everything else he has, he has about a damn, almost a hundred thousand dollars on everything else. Okay. Because what does he have? The CP's got dropped. SA is still around. He has all of the conspiracy. The conspiracy's totaled about $60,000 somewhere in that neighborhood. He had about $60,000 in conspiracy. I'm just giving a rough estimate, so don't quote me. Plus 405. Even at a 10% cash... 15% bond because bonds have gone up now. That's money. Who's putting that up for him? Then he got to take his ass to Henry County. Boy, bye. That's $450. $450, damn it. We went to brunch for my husband's birthday, and I think the tab was $360. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, but I know uh, $460,000 is $46,000. And if it's not somebody with my last name that has this address, you can't get it. Okay. You can't, I'm going to send you money so you can eat, get your snacks, get your books, everything. But if you don't have my last name or you don't have, and I'm talking up under this roof, or I'm going to expand it just a little bit, my maiden name, and we used to live up under a roof, I can't help you. If we, if we lived at the same place with mom and dad, or if you live over here at this address, that's it. I can't help you. All I can do is give you some uh, telephone and Tic Tac bubble gum and cakes money. That's it. Okay. I'm going to call you. I cannot. $46,000, girl. I'm in my 50s. Uh -uh. That's a swimming pool. That's a swimming pool. We still got stuff to do the house. Uh -uh. We damn near spent. And we had an insurance claim, but we had to spend thousands of dollars to get our roof done. I need my kitchen. I want my swimming pool. Girl, bye. Uh-uh. And guess what? When you pay the 15% bond, nobody. Okay, XO? <laughs> nobody. Honey. No. Um. 15%, 10% cash you get back. Cash bond, okay? 15% Mr. Reality Check got jokes, okay? <laughs> our good our good uh, acronym aficionado no bond. No Optional blessing allowed with Nesto. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to have to sit and think on that one. No optional blessing allowed with Nesto. Okay. No bond. Nesto, the judge wanted to say no, but they couldn't. Okay. Okay, Sonia might want to run to the bank right now and get the money for her man. Okay. Sonia, sorry, sis. That's a lot of money. Okay. That's a lot of money. And I know she doesn't have it. I could just get a job. I could just get a job and pay back the mortgage when she was making it seem so easy. And that Dre needs to come off with his money for her. Yeah, he had like 60000 plus 405. Now, I, I don't have access to the system, but I know it was somewhere like Sage. But you have to add in, he's got other bonds. He has other bonds to pay. So there's like a 60,000 on top of the 405. It's almost half a million dollars. Okay? Guys, don't think that it's just 405. He's got to pay the conspiracy and so all those charges all together, his bond is almost half a million dollars. Just count out about $75,000 plus fees, okay? It's a wrap. He's going to be sitting in there. Allegedly, he's got 25 acres. Where's Where's Nesto's 25 acres? I thought somebody was going to call him. Daryl hadn't been to see Nesto. Daryl's Daryl is over 50 also. Ain't nobody parting with their money over 50 for him. Sonia is Timu Shirley. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Okay. I was going to say something mean. $450,000 already is $67,000 for 
15%. I think it's going to be closer to 70, 75 when it's all said and done. Um, Cause I don't think it was just $45,000. I think it was closer. It was closer to that 500 mark. Are you talking about four hundred and five thousand? Look, guys, I'm not going to argue simple math with you guys. He has a four hundred and five thousand dollar bond on the SA charges, but he has other charges that have bonds that total somewhere around sixty thousand dollars. So it's probably somewhere like four sixty. 465 and that's where you're going to get the 15% from just to be clear I don't have anything to illustrate in front of you guys right now cuz Fulton County's down um but that's fine whatever it is guess what he don't have it and neither does this lady on the screen so it's no point in us arguing like simple math problems we all got calculators everybody knows how to do 10 and 15% this is my point he don't have it he ain't got it, okay? Sir is broke and nobody's coming through with the money. You know what I'm saying? If he, girl, there's not enough fettuccine Alfredo plates that Sonia can make to get that Negro out of jail by Monday, okay? He's not, she's not selling $70,000 in fettuccine Alfredo, okay? And that putty cat she's sitting on ain't hitting on nothing either, okay? So everybody, we all know what's 10 and 15%. It's okay, sis. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. And that's good. Nobody, this broke crew, ain't nobody got it. And Shirley, if Shirley, because Shirley might have just got paid. Shirley gets a nice paycheck. You know who may have it? You know who may have the money? This lady right here eating ice cream cone. Okay? This lady in the pretty white shirt and her Chanel necklace. Okay? Okay? This lady who used to call herself Shirley Williams, okay? Shirley might have just got one of them good checks she gets, okay? All right? Shirley better not. Shirley better be like, girl, stop it. 504, 504 is so naughty. Um, she said, is Shirley right? Hey, hun. Hey, hun. Ah! It's a no for me. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't do it. You have to call Dion. Well, could you loan me the money, hun? No. Mm -mm. Why don't you call your girlfriend? Why don't you call that lady you've been talking to for over a year behind my back? Oh, hey, Nesto. Oh, hey, Nesto. Debbie, is that you? Yeah, Nesto, it's me. Yes, yeah, Shirley is. Um, we're at the spa right now. Shirley gave me her phone. What's going on? Can I help you? Are you okay? Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, she's not available. Yeah, she's not available. Um, no, yeah, tomorrow we're going to Paris. Really? Oh, wow. Congratulations. You got your bonds finally. Okay. That's good. But yeah, Shirley said no. Yeah. She said no. Yeah. Me, um, and, uh, my fat ass and, um, Shirley and her daughter. Yeah. We're actually, we've got plans. We are going to be on the Champs-Élysées, um, by the weekend, spending lots of money and having a good time. Sonia, uh, it's time for Sonia to sell that home in Cleveland. I I heard is is Sonia in Cleveland right now? You see, let's see what she has left that girl after those garnishments. If she's making a million dollar paycheck right now, monthly. She might have a little something left over she could throw his way. But, you know, we, we don't really know what that check is doing when she gets paid. But it's definitely doing something that could probably get her some credit with a bail bondsman. But who, who wants to put up? See, keep in mind, with a bail bondsman, you don't get a refund. 
Okay. You do not get a refund. When you pay the bail bond, that's something you are, you're purchasing a bail bond. When you give a cash bond, like let's, let's say Shirley went over to Chase and got some stacks. Okay. And put a cash bond at the sheriff's department that she could get back after he's finished. Okay. Or if he has this property, these 25 acres that he's been talking about, he can put up as long as the, well, I did some research on this guys. Um, if the property value is 10 times the amount of the bond. So let's say $75,000. It has to be worth Cause keep in mind, that's what they're putting up. Right? So let's say he owes 50,000, $500,000. It's not, 500 he has to have a property worth half a million dollars so your property has to be half a mil to get 50,000 right it has to be what 25 acres of land is worth $750,000 that Nesto has a hold of he might have some damn woods in the back of mama Nell's house i don't know what that man has but Whatever he has, I know he's not sitting on almost a million dollars in prime real estate in Augusta, Georgia. Is that even possible? Sonia's going to, okay, sell plates of fettuccine Alfredo. 504 keeps cracking me up. I don't think Shirley or Dre, they're not going to help him to the tune of that type of money. He has talked too much with the wrong damn person. Okay, Sagittarius vibes. And that's on period. Um, do y'all realize he talked about everyone who could have or would have helped him? He talked about them all under their clothes and felt nothing about it. Okay. And Debbie's definitely going to make sure if he calls Shirley that Shirley ain't going to be picking up the phone. Not to mention, where is he going? He has to go to Henry County. Okay. A mess. Okay, y'all. All right, let me let me try to finish detangling this mess of a head that I have going on right now. My hair is so tangled, guys. Let me get myself together. I'm going to come back on the Sonia video so we can have some fun clowning. And then let me get my internet situation squared away so I'm not stalling and going to get different computers in the house and all of this situation that I have going on with my, with my situation, okay? Because it's not, you know, I don't like to do business like that, but it's okay. Everything is not perfect, but it's okay, okay? Um, anything else? Big Debbie ain't big. Debbie's not playing with Nesto. She's going to be like, look, Shirley and I are good. Hey, hey, Nesto, what's going on? We're getting ready to board on a, we just went through immigration. We're boarding. We're yes. We are on our way. Me, my big ass, her daughter, the two kids who got the two baby daddies and everything. Every, everybody. Everybody you said set her up. Yes, we are all on our way. We're getting ready to go sit in first class and pop some champagne. Shirley's new paycheck just came through. Okay. Okay. That's what's happening. That's what's happening this weekend. Okay. Okay, Nesto, you okay? Are you okay though? Okay. I will let her know you call, but yeah, we'll talk to you some other time. Okay. All right. Okay, Nesto. Come on, Shirley. Own some of your BS. You you kept your blinders. You kept your blinders on. You knew what was going on after 30 years in the radio game, girl, and sitting next to Steve Harvey. At your salary, you should have known. Girl, you she knew he couldn't write. She knew he couldn't read or write. She knew that, right? Okay. A mess. Girl, just landed in London. Okay, we're getting ready to go get some beers and some champagne. All right. Okay. 
And we have an appointment at the designer um, at, at a, we're going to Burberry. We have a private showing and we're having lunch upstairs in the main, in the main salon. Okay. I'm buying some new clothes for the kids. Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna let y'all go. Come back. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Um, you guys know I wasn't feeling well yesterday. So, um, but yeah, I will get you guys back. Um, we'll get all the way caught up. And then um, Pam says she's going live later on her community wall. So um, we'll be stay tuned for that. So we can hear all of the tea um, from when she was in the courtroom. Cause I can't wait to hear about it. Okay. All right, guys hit the like button for me. I will see you guys in a little bit and um, we'll get caught up on the other video. Okay. Did he hide some of that money somewhere? Girl, if he, I mean, if it's hidden, he didn't tell us about it, but we do know he has been talking in some recent calls about some land that he has. I do feel a little better, but I think I still sound a little congested, but that outage yesterday took me out. I couldn't even like mentally after every trying to figure out what was going on. And then I found out everybody was out. It just, it ruined my day. It ruined my day. I just, I had to go lay down. <laughs> And then, um, and then, you know, I, I have a little bit of a head cold, but I'll be all right. Give me a minute. Cause I just, I washed my hair and it's super duper tangled. So I put a hot oil treatment and conditioner and stuff in it. So I'm going to try to get back into it and see if I can make some, make some headway in detangling it and not having to cut out my hair. <laughs> um, and then I'll be back. Okay. All right, guys, I will see you guys a little bit later. Thank you guys for joining me this afternoon. This was so much fun, and we'll do the Sonya visit next, okay? All right, guys, take care. Have a good one, and I'll see you in a little bit.